While they were going, behold, some of the guards went into the city and told the chief priests all that had taken place. And when they had assembled with the elders and taken counsel, they gave a sum of money to the soldiers and said, Tell people his disciples came by night and stole him away while we were asleep. And if this comes to the governor's ears, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So they took the money and did as they were directed. And this story has been spread among the Jews to this day. Matthew 28, 11 through 15. a Roman soldier in my prime. Now age is upon me and the yoke of time. I saw your risen Christ, for I am he who raised the hyssop to him on the tree. And I am one of those who watched beside the sepulchre of him we crucified. Oh, that last night I watched with sleepless eyes. Well, great stars arose and crept across the skies. Ah, the world was all too still for mortal rest, for pitiless thoughts were busy in my breast. Far off the hills of Moab, touched with light, were swimming in the hollow of the night. And I saw Jerusalem, all wrapped in cloud, stretched like a dead thing, folded in its shroud. Once, in the pauses of our whispered talk, I heard something on the garden walk. Perhaps it was a crisp leaf lightly stirred, or perhaps the dream note of a waking bird. Then suddenly an angel burning bright came down with earthquake in the breaking light and roll the great stone from the sepulchre, mixing the morning with the scent of myrrh. And lo, the dead had risen with the day. The man of mystery had gone his way. <laughs> Years, years I have wandered, carrying my shame. Now 
Let the tooth of time eat out my name. For we, we who all the wonder might have told, kept silence, for our mouths were stopped with gold. <laughs>